Hi, dear friends. How can we explain the proportional harmony and the beauty in our universe? What is the key to understanding these subjective terms? I have tried to research the aesthetic of our universe and understand them. I am going to share my findings and thoughts with you in this video. Incredible and all inspiring things from the atoms in the micro universe to the macro space and galaxies have caught my attention. I have become excited by the realization that we are living in a world of unmatched harmony and symmetry. Dear friends, I am trying to comprehend the size of our universe, the function of each atom and their connections to their surroundings. The things I find carry me to completely new levels of awe. When I focus on the systematic nature of our world, I come across a proportional perfection throughout all beings, alive or not, which I can only take my hat off to. From the smallest thing in the universe to the largest, there is a visible harmony and balance. This perfection that can even be seen by the bare eye and can be understood easily is named the golden ratio by scientists. Let me try to summarize what the golden ratio is. The golden ratio is a math term and it is one of most popular numbers in math. This number is 1.618. And the reason 1.618 is this popular is because it can be found all around us. The golden ratio was found by Italian mathematician Fibonacci. He first found a sequence of numbers, which is called the Fibonacci sequence. Then he found the golden ratio, which is approximated as 1.618 from the numbers of this sequence. Fibonacci found this sequence while trying to solve a problem and named it after himself. The Fibonacci sequence is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. How the sequence works is that each number is the sum of the last two numbers. For example, the 8 in the sequence is found by adding the last two numbers before it, which are 3 and 5. And if we divide any of the numbers in this sequence with the one before it, we will see that it will always be approaching the golden ratio. For example, if we divide 34 by 21, we will get approximately 1.619. And if we divide 55 by 34, we will get approximately 1.618. And if you continue to make this same operation farther along the sequence, you will see that your findings will be constantly getting closer to the golden ratio. The number 1.618 is the numerical representation of the proportionate relation between the parts of a being and can be seen in many different beings from plants to animals. Research find that in many beings the ratio of a part of the being to its whole is the golden ratio. Let's look at some examples that show this mysterious ratio. In an ideal human face, there are many features and parts that exhibit the golden ratio. For example, when you look at the two center teeth on our upper jaw, the ratio of the width to the height of the rectangle those two teeth form gives us the golden ratio. Besides this, some other examples of golden ratio in the human face are as follows. Face height to face width mouth length to nose width, nose width to length between our nostrils, length between our eyebrows to length between our irises. Yes friends, all these aesthetic proportions show us a creational secret, which is the golden ratio. Now, let's move on to the human body and try to find some more examples. When we look at our arms, we will see that they are divided into two parts by our elbows, a big part and a small part. The ratio of the smaller part to the bigger one gives us the golden ratio. Also, the ratio of the bigger part to the whole arm gives us the golden ratio too. It is observed that the ancient Egyptians used a system that is similar to the golden ratio while building the Great Pyramid of Giza. 
when we look at the pine cone we will see that the scales of the pine cone are placed in spirals of curves from top to bottom the curvature of these spirals gives us the golden ratio my friends as you know there are many people who have seashell collections you may have one too when we look at the structure of a seashell we will see that there is a curve the tangent of the curvature of a seashell gives us the golden ratio when we look at the spirals on a snail's shell and transfer it onto a floodplain it will form a rectangle which is also called the golden rectangle the ratio of the height of this rectangle to its width gives us the golden ratio dear friends Fibonacci found the number 1.618 or the golden ratio and its mathematical representation around 1200 AD. Later, it was found that the golden ratio was used in the building of many structures from the ancient age till now. On top of that, scientists discovered that golden ratio was used in the creation of all beings from the beginning of time till now. Of course, this mathematical signature hidden in the proportions all over the universe shows us the awe-inspiring aesthetic beauty of the creation. I will try to give more of these beautiful examples about the golden ratio and go into more detail in coming videos. My friends, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos and share them with your loved ones. If you like to support us on Patreon, you can click the link in description or click the Patreon button on our YouTube homepage. Goodbye.